Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. So today I'm here back with one another hacker rank problem. And this video is again in continuation with the already ongoing hacker rank series where I have posted a lot of hacker rank solutions or you can say videos and you can see them, you can see a way or uh, another way to solve the problem. So uh, here on the screen that you can see that I'm going to solve one new problem. So before we do that, if you are new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed to my channel at please do and there is a simple and easy trick that you just have to hit that subscribe button that's all that's all and i will be really <laughs> motivated uh, to continue on this journey of mine so let's see what this problem says and what we have to do okay so here we can see the definition uh, what comparator is so if you don't know um, comparator is to compare like the word so um, here in this problem we have a player class uh, which is provided to us but uh, here we have two fields on which we have to compare the objects uh, one is name another is score so trick part is that um, if let's say two uh, players are having same name so we cannot sort them right because they have same name so if they have same name then uh, then we should uh, do a score check but here what we have to do is first we have to sort them using score and afterwards if let's say score is same then we have to sort them by name so this we have to do in reverse so that's what we have to do in the gist so here you can take an example so here we can see that two uh, player have same score 100 so they both have to be sorted alphabetically and here you can see that a comes before d right sorry i selected this one wrong <laughs> so amy comes before david right so we have to take this in mind and here you can see the top scorer has to be at the top so we, we have to do two things here and we have been given player class here and we have to create checker class which is going to implement comparator so let's quickly do that So here when we implement comparator we have to just provide one thing small thing which is the type on which it is going to compare so we know that we have to compare on players so we know that the type is going to be player right now when we implement comparator it comes with a method or you can say we have to override a method which is your compare method here you can see the documentation and this is a syntax um, where you can see so here what we have to do uh, we just have to override this but again we don't have to do that so we'll just do uh, public int compare and we have to provide two objects here so here we will do player p1 and player p2 so first we have to check using score now uh, when we have to compare there are two ways on two separate type of objects so let's say if they have uh, they are of type integer or if they have integer values when we do compare we just have to do it mathematically right now when we have a name or alphabetical thing or a word then we have to use compare to so they both work in different ways so again we have here two things score which is an integer and then we have name which is a word so we have to do both of these things in the same method so first we have to go with the order so what i will do is um, i can simply return this if they have asked us to sort this using score so again you have to think of an order so when we do p1 dot score minus p2 dot score it is going to do a reversal sorting for us which we don't want so we have to do p1 dot score later and first p2 dot score now we can easily return this but again we have to check one thing first and what is that we first have to check if p2 or p1 dot score not equals to p2 dot score so if it is not equal then we can simply return this otherwise we have to sort using name so here we just have to do p1 dot name not minus compared to 
and then p2 dot name that's it and let's do a demo demo <laughs> sorry if that was not clear so if you can see that it is working fine you can try to submit this but again let me explain the gist so if you reverse these orders it won't matter because here in the if condition reversal will also be true or false but here it counts positive and negative so if we have negative value it will do a reverse order for us which we don't want we want it to be in descending order that's why we have to do p2 dot score minus p1 dot score here we have to do ascending alphabetical order so here that's why we did p1 dot name and p2 dot name and let's try to submit this code so it's working fine so i hope this explanation was clear if not you can ask your query in the comment section i will always be there so um, that is it for this video i hope i will meet you in the next one till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye